Hello, my name is Dan Wake and I'm delighted to be invited to share with you on your virtual walk this week. The verse I've been asked to unpack with you is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 16. So let's read it together. From him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Have you ever been to a West End theatre production? For most people, going to the theatre to see a show is a fantastic and much loved experience. The lights, the sounds, the drama acted out by skilled performers telling a story from its beginning to its conclusion. Our attention is on the stage and the actors, and rightly so. But there are, of course, so many more people involved in telling the story of the play than those just on the stage. There are theatre staff who ensure you are made to feel welcome and that the theatre is safe and operational. Bar or confectionery staff are there to sell you drinks and snacks. Stewards uh, ready to show you in the direction of your seats and uh, an attempt to sell you a programme at an extortionate price. And once you're sat in your seat, it is clear that the auditorium has been prepared for the arrival of, of you, the audience. Sound and lighting engineers are already at work. The stage has already been set by stagehands or the backstage crew. And not before, set designers have been at work designing and creating all that you see prepared before you. And as the hour approaches, lighting and sound engineers continue their work and maybe they're joined by an orchestra in the pit. The main lighting dims. The bright lights focus on the stage, the orchestra begin to play and the curtains open. Not a moment later and the actors appear on the stage acting out their first lines. The play and the story it's telling is underway. We mustn't forget the other members of staff involved in getting the show to this point. Script writers and costume designers, administrative or finance staff, as well as producers. Without each and every person playing their part in the production, learning and functioning together, the story to be told on the stage would not develop and mature into what it needs to be. And we must certainly not forget the role of the director, or perhaps an executive producer. The director is the head of it all. They are the ones who hold the whole of the production together, working with teams and individuals, including, of course, the actors, to ensure the whole creative process and production is delivered in unity from start to finish, and that the story of the play is told with integrity and authenticity. At the director's hand are an array of people from different backgrounds with different skills and gifts who have been united together, nurtured and matured with a purpose of telling a story. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 16, Paul tells us that it is from Christ, the director, at the head of his church, that we are drawn together as members of of the one body, the one family. The theme of oneness and unity in the new humanity is a key theme that Paul draws out throughout his letter to the Ephesians and intentionally develops in chapter 4. Like the theatre metaphor of the one cast and one crew joined together to tell a story at the inspiration of the director, we as Christians are joined together into one body by Christ Jesus. And it is in this body that the church, 
that we find our place and our identity and our purpose together. That purpose being the telling and living out the transformative drama that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Like the theatre cast and crew, each and every member of the body, the church, is essential in playing their part in ensuring growth and maturity together as the gospel story is told. Of course, a concern of Paul's in the wider passage of, uh, of which verse 16 concludes is that the churches would grow out of infancy and into maturity so that they would not be deceived by those around them wishing to take advantage of them. For Paul, the church is stronger when it is connected together. It draws strength and maturity from its togetherness in Christ. And as each one in the community takes up their role and function in love, according to the gifts and talents and passions God has given them, the whole of the body grows and builds itself up. So life spring. May you be united together into the one body with Christ as the head. And in your connectedness together, may you each use the gifts and the passions God has given you in order to build one another up into maturity and flourishing in Christ Jesus. So that you may live out the redemptive and powerful gospel story. Amen.